Um, got my helmet on because it's the only thing I could find. And my camera, my phone died. But uh, just wanted to uh, kind of go over the carburetor conversion. Um, I kind of took apart the TU and I'm still working on it. Um, but as you can see, the stock air uh, felt uh, the throttle body is really small. I have pictures. I will post them. Um, you can see how restricted this intake is. So I replaced the intake boot, and uh, pictures will show. And uh, also did a port match, so that actually increased the diameter of the cylinder head. So it's like a little bit of a port. I wouldn't say a full-on polish, but I didn't really have any of my sanding drums. So I kind of just smoothed it out with what I had with my tools, with my bore tool. Um, so uh, running a Makuni VM34 slider. So um, I'm just going to give it a quick fire up. No fuel injection anymore. Fires right up. So I don't know, it's running a little rich. Might need to go down on a main. I'm not sure. <laughs> the pilot might be rich. I haven't really tweaked it yet, really. I mean, there we go. It runs. I just got to now tune it, but we have, uh, it's running off the ECU. Spark's still going, but I've got the carburetor. That's your choke. Jetting's definitely off. I got to pick with the jetting. Definitely running rich. Uh, so I'm probably going to need to run, uh, get a new jet for it. Because uh, I have the smallest I had was a 120. So it's going to be a little smaller than a 120. Clearly because she's running pretty rich. Uh, once I finally get it dialed in, I'd be really interested to see how it's going to run. Probably going to have to go with like a 115. Try a 115 next. It's it, the fact that it fired right up like that. It's a pretty good sign. It means my jetting's not horribly off. I figured 120 was a good place to go. I could always go up. But I guess I'm going to go down. I'll play with it some more and hopefully get some good results. Thanks for tuning in.